Hey guys, so this is a continuation of the weapons instructional video, but this time we're going to focus more on uh, the Alliance Summit because we have to create six freaking teams now. So yeah, don't worry, I'm going to help you out with that. Uh, however, uh, if you would like to see the past video for uh, defense instructional, you can do that. I'm going to put that in this video's description. Some information there is not uh, updated, and uh, but however, the tips that are in there for creating defenses is still very useful until this day. So if you want to check that out, you can do that as well. However, right now I'm going to do a quick refresher from the past video. So the very first thing you have to take into account uh, for uh, making a defense is your dispellers. So right off the bat, Elmas is the number one dispeller in the game. Hands down, no questions asked. He is, if you're going to use him on your team, make sure to put him on a very powerful team. Because remember that since you're playing uh, in, in Summit... Uh, your leads in your guild will need to focus on which are which are the strongest teams uh, in the guild and making sure you you create a uh, two or three strong teams is going to help you out a, a, a lot in in your victory in the end because they when when you actually capture a tower uh, that's going and that window with 20 minutes 10 minutes five minutes your leaders in, in your guild will, will be able to swap out and swap in and things different defense teams so if bring in your best teams is going to help out a lot guys so um elmist and the next hero uh da -da -da -da. Ah, it's only seen purple here we go so palmyra it's an amazing she's an amazing dispeller in general uh, da, 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 da. Let me see here. Uh, Cathbad, you can use him as a pseudo dispeller. Because the thing is that if your enemy has damage share, he goes off and everybody could <laughs> turns into a shroom. So you get shroom. So yeah, so so he can be used as a pseudo dispeller in this situation. Uh, da, 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 da. So the main thing is that when you have dispellers, uh, they go off. And they dispel every single defense, buff, damage share the enemy has. And then the other heroes come in here and do their, their skills. Because remember that uh, dispellers, act, um, heroes in general, in defense, activate from left to right. So this is why you always need to try to put your dispel on the left, dispel on your left side. So this way they go off and then the rest uh, kills, you know. That's usually the, the main strategy there. Francis is an amazing dispeller, and he's amazing because he's in purple. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Dispellers, dispellers. Abigail is an amazing dispeller. Um, This girl over here, Gwendolyn, is a pseudo dispeller as well because even though your enemy has damage share, she goes off and th she cancels out, cancels out that damage share. So she can be used as a pseudo dispeller in this situation as well. Uh, da, 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 da. This guy is, is pretty good dispeller as well. All right, now we filled up. Let's start over again. And Athena, when she's plus one, she's a dispeller. She's a very powerful hero. So if you have her at plus one, you can definitely use her as a dispeller. Valencia is an amazing dispeller, an amazing uh, energy weapon holder. Let's see. Da, 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 da. This girl over here is a dispeller when she's plus five. So, yeah. If you have her plus five, sure. You can use her as a dispeller. If not, no, no. That's not a good choice. Uh, Agatha is an amazing dispeller. <clears throat> and uh, Apollo is a new addition and a very welcome one. He's really, he's a really good dispeller as well. Uh, this guy over here... Uh, the thing is that with Jacob is that he is a dispeller, but he since he's slow and does so much damage, it's better to put him on the spot in your team that um, that of your damage dealer. So if he's your only dispeller that you have available in your entire roster, sure you can use him, but he he's better use use there as uh as your damage dealer. So we filled out again. Lots of dispellers in the game for options here. All right, da, 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 da. we start from the beginning. Apparently so. Uh, da, 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 da. This speller, this spellers. Uh, Rinosuke is really good. This speller. I've seen him do really crazy stuff. 
Uh, da, 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 da. So there's one hero that, that I didn't talk about dispelling the last time. And this is this girl over here. A three star Helena here. She does, she's the dispeller guy. So if you don't have any other options, you create your five teams and you don't have your dispeller, you can add in Helena. But the rule of actually of using uh, dispellers on defense is always put a shield weapon because your enemy will want to kill them as soon as possible so make sure to give them a, sh a good shield weapon in general guys now we already have our dispellers here let's put helena here so now the next one is uh your energy weapon holder i hope you <laughs> I hope you guys um, upgraded and saved as many energy weapons as possible as I said on my past video Because uh, yeah, you're going to need a lot of energy every single team in your in your entire roster Needs to have an energy weapon holder No questions asked, but having the weapon at level one that is not acceptable guys do not do not put a level weapon uh, level one weapons guys in defense. No way Jose guys <laughs> do not do that. Please 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 but Energy weapon holders any single hero that is fast or very fast is amazing uh, Being an energy weapon holder any hero that creates shields and protects himself is an amazing uh, Energy weapon holder as well uh, example quick examples of that is uh, Malfort if he doesn't he, he doesn't have his weapon awakened already um, also, a survivor is an amazing uh, whip holder in general. Midas is an amazing uh, energy weapon holder as well. A bunch of heroes, really. But any hero that creates shields and can protect himself uh, is an amazing energy weapon holder in general. Uh, for example, here, Mr. Carrot. Mr. Carrot also creates a lot of shields, so he's an amazing hero to actually hold the, the energy weapon there as well. So the next hero we have to talk about and you need on your team is your your protector in general Usually that's gonna be a hero that creates shields Midas creates shields uh, there uh, Usually this guy over here creates shields and protects and things like that uh, This this guy in general mm, not so much actually now that I think about it uh, And your damage share heroes like Isadora, uh, Valerie over here, Jane is one of the best ones ever in general. Any hero that protects or uses taunt, like uh, here Mildred or the drunken guy here as well, that's another form of protection. So shields, taunt, uh, damage share, all that good stuff, you definitely need to have that on your team for sure. And then these other two spots, you can use them for your damage dealers. Uh, heroes that do a lot of damage, single target, a lot of uh, damage, uh, AoE damage in general in the team. You can definitely do that. Um, yeah, this guy is amazing. Everything, <laughs> pretty much. Holding whip, doing damage everywhere. Uh, Colette. Uh, pretty much any hero that you have in your team that does a lot of damage in that situation. This girl over here does a nice amount of damage in general. These two spots are going to be put to that in that situation. So, yeah. Any hero that in your team that does a good amount of damage, you bring in there in your defenses. So, yeah. So, that's that's pretty much the, the, um, the quick refresher from the last video I made. So, now we're going to go to the nitty-gritty of the different types of teams that you could. You could be actually uh, setting up uh, when you're uh, doing... Uh, the summit. So when you're creating teams uh, that are effective, you have to make sure that it is a team uh, that is around a hero or around an idea uh, of on defense. So in this time around, we're going to talk about Luna. So if you don't have Luna, yeah, if if you don't have her, please try to get her. She she is uh yeah, she's an amazing defense hero. She, a lot of teams go go around her, so even if she's plus zero, plus one, you could definitely t even try to put her on defense for sure. Plus one, definitely. Plus zero, you can try to put her on defense for sure. So, in this situation, I would usually make a team like this and like this. There we go. 
Valerie, there we go, and Elmas. So it will be like this. So the main thing about uh, the the Luna either team is that 20% dodge on every single other team, every other hero here, uh, is going to help you. Yeah, it, that's going to activate her counters. And it's going to protect your team, and it's going to be really hard to kill in general. <laughs> so yeah, so the the other team in general would be like this. Check this out. So if you have three of the, that faction, you're going to get 20% dodge right off the bat in this situation. So yeah, that's definitely very important to note. And especially if Luna already has 20% additional uh, there with her plus one. Uh, Percy has a bunch of dodge right off the bat. So yeah, the, the, this is the, the basis uh, for sure for Luna. However, this is not the only team you can set up if you don't have any of these heroes. Uh, you can actually do uh, this team that I actually like a lot. It is uh, this team over here. And remember, this guy is also Idrith as well. Let me show you Idrith real quick. Idrith, Idrith. For all. So these are all, all the Idrith heroes. So you can do it like these. Right now we have 10% dodge here. Let me take out the Idrith here for all. Um, so the team would be like this. And then Cassandra. And then supposedly Elmist. But if you already have Elmist on another powerful team that you have, you can definitely bring in uh, Francis which uh, in this situation, which is pretty amazing here in this situation so uh it could be like this or you can do a variation of the same team with another hero maybe uh with a cath bad he's a good option here as well so yeah you can be creative you can uh enjoy trying to do these different combinations with your defense teams but remember this better energy weapon holder and all that and all, uh, everything that i already explained so that will be luna teams and something that i forgot to mention is that you have to know when which hero to focus on uh, when you actually are setting up your teams. So ever since we had uh, the room system and also the resonance systems, we were forced to actually give more power to a specific color. So most players decided to focus that color on that power on purple because purple has so many good defense heroes. It's not even funny. Yeah, so yeah, so so that's the main reason. All these, most of these heroes here are good on defense. This is good on defense. This is good on defense, and things like that. It's 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 not even funny. It's a bunch of heroes here. So yeah, for sure, this is a bunch of heroes that are purple. So, but if you have all your power focused on a specific color that is not purple, you will you when you're creating these defense teams, make sure to actually uh focus your defenses on that specific color but in general purple is the absolute best color to create defense teams so i hope you focus your power on purple in this situation so let's talk about another archetype which is the most successful one in the entire game no questions asked and that is alia and mildred combos so you have these two heroes, but you have... Uh, wait a minute. M make sure to have Alia, her weapon, at plus two or at plus three. Because this makes so much mana, it's not even funny. So this is pretty much the archetype. Different people def uh, prefer to set up Alia and Mildred in different situations. Like they prefer to put uh, Mildred here and uh, Alia here. Which is something that I'm testing out recently. Putting Alia here in the middle. And uh, putting uh, Mildred here on the right. So there's different variations. It's diff different types. Uh, do take into account that putting Alia here on this side, she's going to give mana and cleanse everybody in that situation. So if somebody's stunned, she's going to cleanse them. While if you put uh, Mildred on this side and Alia on this side, uh, uh, Mildred will go off and then uh, Alia here will, will come in and fill her up again. So it's going to make her um, actually go off even more in that situation so after this point when you have these two heroes ready uh in this situation you can add different types of heroes usually it's a protection hero maybe like it's a Tora. and then after that heroes that do a lot of damage in this situation but one of the favorite heroes to put uh damage is athena plus three athena plus three here is pretty crazy 
and the dreaded Belnos. <laughs> this is this is a team that a lot of people, yeah, this, yeah, it's pretty disgusting. There are different variations, like adding this guy here, or even Apollo here. I've seen him with Apollo here, uh, with these plus five going off over and over and over again. It's so funny. But you, any any type of hero that you look, like to add here, like maybe Thor, um, any hero that, that you would like. Like recently I've been uh, playing around with uh, this combination like this. With uh, with the new hero, which I have been having some very good um, interactions and I've been enjoying it a lot for sure. So, but the main thing is, is to have these two heroes here when you when you have these two heroes you can set up the defense without any problems but if you don't have mildred uh, alia will most likely receive a bunch of attacks and your entire team as well and if you don't have uh, and if you don't have alia yeah um any team without alia yeah it's it's going to be more problematic in that situation so yeah, um, the main thing is whichever team, whichever heroes you put here, it doesn't m matter too much as long as you have these two here. But if you want to be successful, it has to be something that protects and then two heroes that actually do a bunch of damage. So the next archetype is Damon. Damon archetype is really interesting because once you have Damon at plus five, that's a problem with him. If you have, him, if you don't have him plus five, uh, it's not recommended to put him on defense. Once you have him a plus five, you can, yeah, you can do a bunch of things with him. Uh, you can set up a team uh, that protects him, but at the same time, you don't have to put another damage hero at all in this situation. Uh, maybe you can put. Uh, this guy over here just for the shields and then uh, this girl over here let's see pretty much any any team you want let's see for energy in general uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, for green yeah we definitely need something for green maybe Malfort in this situation yeah, so, or maybe a, a taunter as well. The main thing is that the entire team will not matter because the main one that's going to be doing the damage is uh, Damon here in this situation. Uh, if you like, you can actually add uh, Malfort uh, with his weapon at plus three. Uh, that's going to target the weakest hero right off the bat, so that's going to be a really good option there. Very powerful stuff. For sure. So Damon is gonna pretty much suck the power from his own team and the enemy team, and they're not gonna do a lot of damage. And this team is not gonna do a, do a lot of damage except Damon. So Damon goes off, and yeah, everybody's straight up murdered, guys. He has been used a lot less in high level games, but this is Summit, guys. Six teams and fighting against other teams. He may do the things that you actually expecting him to do, which is annihilate the entire team. So for weapons, usually it's a shield weapon, the best option. Uh, some people like to put the energy weapon for him so he can get the 13 stacks, but that's going to make him more probable that he's going to get murdered. So yeah, so that's an option. You can put him the, you can put him the energy weapon, but yeah, that, that's a risk, guys. So another team that I really enjoy making, but it's super expensive to make, but it's, fun, but it's really fun to do is the red streak team so let's see here when i say expensive it's the weapons guys so that's gonna be midas let's see let me put here uh felia 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 where are you oh here we go felia and then cassandra cassandra if you're gonna use her on the red streak team you have to put her on the most right side of the team here so when she goes off, uh, she eliminates all the overload if the if there is any overload. Because with so many red streets, you're not gonna get uh, so much overload. And then a dispeller in this situation. Remember that I'm that um, uh, Francis here is a good dispeller. The only reason why he's a good dispeller is because he's purple. He's purple, and you have all your single powers on the entire game, like. Like super powerful. Look at this defense, 5,546. And he doesn't even have a good weapon here. So I'm going to give him a quick weapon here. That's going to raise him a little bit. Here we go. So yeah, look at that. He's He, he looks at like a like a five-star hero at this situation. 
So yeah, that that's the only main reason why Francis is a good dispeller. He's gonna he has a lot of power uh, because he's purple. Because if you have that at focus there. So the main thing is the Red Streak team is going to actually uh, bring in uh, protection. It's going to actually bring in uh, a lot of overload to the enemy. So as long as Felia is still alive, uh, your enemy team is usually going to die. Usually in this situation. But make sure to put a Dispeller because if Isadora completely counters this team. So you have to use the Dispeller for sure. This team for sure. However, as I already said, uh, you can use the Cassandra version, the the Luna version with these two here. Remember the team that uh, I spoke about, Luna. So you can do it like this: these two heroes, and then another hero, and the Speller, and then the Taunter, and things like that. So th th I'm, I'm a really fa big fan of this team. I'm going to show you right now the situation. So, da -da -da -da. Cathbad and Francis, sure, Francis. So something like this, that would be pretty cool. Uh, probably an energy weapon here. Or even to 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 this guy, because he's fast for Cathbad. So the next thing we're possibly going to be using here is remember my boy Sigmund. Sigmund, remember that that uh you can do teams around him. So you can put him on the right side so he goes off first and then activate. Or you can put him on the right side so they start actually uh, connecting there and things like that. So this is a faction team. So we're going to check, check the faction options here for all colors. So here we have access to Palmyra. We have access to this girl over here. And even this new hero over here, which is amazing. And in a team like this, that's another thing that you have to take into account when de doing defense teams. You can put two heroes of the, of the same color of the, of the t defense team that you want to attract. So if you create two, you, you put two blues, most people are going to bring in green teams. So this is when Sigmund comes here and annihilates everybody, <laughs> all, all the green teams. So that, that's a good way to actually think about it. So these three go off, he goes off, and yeah, it's, 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 it's <laughs> pandemonium. So something to take into account as well. Let me see. You can actually put this hero here as well. Roland, I hope everybody has his weapon at plus three. He is amazing. And all these heroes over here, no problem. Uh, however, remember that uh, since Sigmund uh, does a lot of uh, single target damage in this situation, uh, you could put him uh, with Malfour with his weapon plus three. So this way it, it gets actually uh, taunted to that single target over and over and over again uh, with Sigmund. So that's another option. So this is a nice team that I would like to actually try out for sure. Now, let's talk about Malford as well. Malford with his weapon plus three. I really hope you guys listen to me to make sure to awaken uh, Alia's weapon as much as possible. And also Malford's weapon at plus three. Because this is another team around Malford himself that you can actually uh, do here. So, in this situation, you're going to want to have really strong single target heroes when you're actually doing this. So... Here, Alpha is amazing here. Athena uh, at plus three, plus five is amazing here as well. Let me see. And Cathbad is amazing here as well because because uh, he, he, he will make actually uh, the target shroomed over and over and over. So, yeah. So, that's pretty powerful stuff. Single target. Maybe if you don't have any other options. Idritha uh, here. Uh, any hero that is strong, single target. Uh, yeah, you can actually choose her if if there's if you have her strong enough sure you can actually do that So there's a lot of options with him for sure and But the other variation that you can actually use Malfort is the shield variation So the shield variation is pretty much uh, making sure that you have so much shields that the enemy is not able to deal with it period in that situation so it's usually gonna be these three guys and uh, let's see, you can choose other heroes uh, th that are actually create a bunch of shields in this situation. Let me see, da -da -da -da. Uh, this guy over here, that'll be good in general. Because the main thing is that since since Malfort weapon creates so many shields, it's going to help you out a lot here. 
So it would be nice to have a dispeller here. Uh, obviously, he would be nice, but not uh, the best option there. Uh, since we already have a yellow here, oh yeah, we're gonna have to use another one. So another any dispeller that that is, uh, let's see, maybe yeah, let's let's try Valencia. Valencia is pretty good uh, dispeller here. So yeah, uh, so in this situation you can do something like this possibly. That's an option. Uh, any other heroes here? Uh, possibly a damage hero on here if if you want insurance in general that you would like to act there. Any hero that you have, maybe this girl over here, she does a nice amount of damage as well in that situation. So yeah, uh, that's another variation you can use on the on the. Um, on the mount 14 if you have his weapon at plus three that's the that's the catch now let's talk about <laughs> a lot of people like to do this guys for sure which is the karma team and karma um the thing is with karma is only if she has her weapon at plus three uh that's going to, that's um, well, not plus three plus one plus two plus three if you have her awaken it's going to be more relevant uh, and that usually is going to be of uh, the team of her own faction, which is this Cabrat. All these colors here. So usually you're going to bring in this girl over here. Maybe you're going to bring in a uh, who, maybe possibly on that team. And uh, maybe possibly another heroes that actually bring Frost and, and, uh, and Frozen here. It's usually going to be blue. So this guy over here holding the energy weapon. And then a dispeller that hopefully is not any of these colors. Maybe a red dispeller uh, here. Here we go. Like this girl over here. That would be pretty cool. So this is a team that you could possibly use in this situation. Um, however, since you already see that's three blues, that's going to definitely attract green teams. So maybe instead of one of these two heroes... Uh, you can possibly add another red hero, which is pretty strong. Maybe Thor. He would be amazing here, Thor. Or uh, maybe Colette in that situation. Uh, lots of options here for red, for sure. Or maybe another, another uh, maybe a shield hero. Maybe this guy over here in this situation. Yeah, so that would be pretty cool. The problem with this team is it usually doesn't do so much damage to kill the enemy. It will frost. It will paralyze the enemy but it's that's the the problem so if you can fix that problem you can definitely do a team like this for sure now the other team archetype that you can actually focus on is the volos team and volos has many variations many people like to do it like this because they already have abigail and abigail is going to go one two three and things like that so that's pretty cool uh, however, there are other variations of that team. Uh, you can actually bring in uh, Lupita with her weapon. He, she's going off two times. It's it's not a joke. <laughs> not a joke at all. So usually you have to check the light tower uh, heroes here. So that's usually going to be the team that you're you're going to focus on here. So let's see here. Uh, you can bring in Aurelia uh, here. Even uh, Survivor is pretty good as well. But the main thing is most people are going to actually use Abigail here. Because Abigail, she's going to uh, serve as your Dispeller. She's going to bring in the damage and all that. So yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. But don't forget about this guy. This guy is pretty amazing in general. But since he goes off on its own, uh, yeah. Uh, it, we, we've got this event so many times to actually uh, be able to get his souls to get awakened. Uh, yeah, you should be having this guy plus 5 already. So if you do, you can definitely add him to pretty much any teams in the game. But in this situation, you can add him as well. And the usual um, things uh, create, uh, bring in your the, the hero that uh, is going to your energy weapon, your protector, and so forth. Another archetype that you can actually play play with is Royal Guard. And Royal Guard, uh, there's a lot of options uh, here for defense. But uh, usually th that's going to raise your defense. So you can bring in Colette. Uh, you can bring in uh, Gara here. And Sammy, by the way. Sammy is no joke now, guys. If you have his weapon in plus three, yeah, he's going to do a lot of work. You can bring in this guy. And you can add in a Dispeller here without any problems. That's another option you can play with for sure. And uh, speaking of of um, of uh, this these teams for sure. 
Uh, now we can actually talk about the counter teams. This is one of my favorite teams to talk about because I absolutely love counter teams in general. So counter teams in general are going to be uh, pretty much uh, Colette. Artemis is an amazing option here to, to actually add in here in this situation. Uh, usually you could add te theoretically add Luna here, but Luna is, is going to be on her own team. But if you still if you don't want to do a Luna classic Luna team, you can add her here without any problems here for sure. And uh, bring in your Dispellers. This team definitely needs a Dispeller like Pronto. Like Pronto, Pronto, Pronto. They need a Dispeller because usually the enemy is going to use damage here to counter it. And then the last hero you're going to add here is always going to be Damage Share. Damage Share multiplies uh, counter heroes uh, team so much. Is incredible, guys, for sure. However, the downside of using these types of teams is that you have to make sure that there isn't any any shields on most of the heroes. Because in, in if, if you have too many heroes with shields, it's not going to activate the counters here. So you can actually use the the new hero here, Gunwolf, Gunwolf as well. In that situation, so uh, these th this is a pretty nice team in general. Usually, I would actually choose a, a stronger dispeller here, but still, um, this is a good variation. And uh, if you want to use the counter team, you can definitely do it like that. And then finally, the other archetype they can actually uh, play with is with the light tower itself. But light tower focused on shields. So it's going to be something like this, like this. You can add in. There we go. So it really is going to be here. Uh, Volos is going to be here, and do it like this. This is too many blue t blue heroes here, guys. We have to cut cut it out here. So we're definitely going to try to get other heroes here. So it's pretty much going to be Midas to add in here, or you can actually remove here Volos and put Irelia. Aurelia. And then your Dispeller here. So this is going to create a bunch of shields because of the faction buff in this situation. So the faction buff is um, you're going to... Uh, da -da -da, faction. All members gain shield equal to 20% when battle begins. So straight off the bat, they're going to get shields. Additional shields from Midas and things like that. That's another archetype they can actually uh, play around with as well. So... There is something that we got to talk about, guys, and that is mono teams. I know that a lot of people like to play mono teams in general, but I'm going to put a few warnings. There's two colors that I don't recommend to do at this very moment to not do any mono teams, and that is yellow and green. I don't recommend doing uh, mono defense teams with those two colors because, uh, yeah, it's, it's not still not good enough. However, you are able to do a mono teams with purple, with red, and now with blue, surprisingly. <laughs> we got to talk about that stuff. So purple teams, if you're going to play purple, you have to have Elmist. That there is no way around that. Any any purple hero you can put on, put there without any problems, but you have to put Elmis. Without Elmis on the mono team, it's going to cause a lot of problems. And by the way, something I forgot to mention is Alia plus plus uh, Elmist is is a really powerful combination. Any heroes that are purple here, including Mildred and other heroes, are going to get mana like for a day so yeah very powerful combination there so if you're gonna go mono maybe you can try to do it like that if you like but if you're gonna play mono you have to you have to use Elmas 100% there is no questions asked if you don't have uh, Elmas don't try it please don't try it in that situation so if you're going to play mono red there is one hero you have to have without a doubt and that is Colette Colette in the mono red team that gives the the mono red team so much more power it's not even funny with her on the team it's just a bunch of damage yeah for sure and thor definitely it's an amazing hero on the mono red team for sure however if you don't have colette i don't recommend you going mono red i'm sorry i'm sorry even if it's your most powerful color don't go mono red in that situation 
And finally, blue. Surprisingly blue, which usually is not a, a good color to put there. I've seen successful blue teams on defense recently, and that is because of the new hero, which is Gunov. Gunov has given this team the possibility to actually thrive incredibly well. And if you have Gwen on the team, yeah, that is a very powerful combination right there for a mono blue team. Uh, yeah, and... Uh, Obviously, uh, you're, you're going to actually bring in um, Palmyra here for sure for, for this spell. And this is a Sewell Dispeller, as I already said. This guy is going to make the enemy so much slower, it's not even funny. So, yeah. For sure, uh, mono, if you want to play mono uh, blue, you it, I highly, highly recommend uh, getting this guy gun off. Because he, he will enable your blue team to do a lot better in this situation. So, again, guys, uh, even though you don't have any of these heroes, even though you don't, um, uh, you don't have any of these heroes upgrade and all that, remember, just follow the very first recommendation I gave you in the beginning. Dispeller, Energy Weapon Holder, Protector, Protector is usually Jane, or Shield Creator, and then two damage heroes, and that's it. You know, you don't have to, like, uh, feel frustrated you don't have all these heroes. As long as you choose a Dispeller, Energy Weapon Holder, and Protector, you can create any team you like uh, for for this event, for Summon. No, no problem, guys. Don't, don't worry about it. Alright, I really hope this helps, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.